Hello guys, Luna here and welcome to this Witcher 3 next gen update video where I'm showcasing for you guys all of the new content added in the game in the update which is live in a few hours. I was fortunate enough to play the update early and so I wanted to share with you all the new stuff that has been added. So I think we'll just jump straight into it and three full new armor sets have been added including weapons and some new outfits as well inspired by the Netflix show. To get the new armors you must collect them from the rewards tab in the main menu that's been added. The rewards you will get from this include two swords of the Nine-Tailed Vixen, which one is the Samurai Sword, White Tiger of the West Armor, Dolblathana Armor Set, or Armor of a Thousand Flowers as it's known in game, and also two swords with that, and a Roach Card for Gwent. Head over to the game and the first one, the Armor of a Thousand Flowers, will just appear in your inventory after accepting it as a gift. I'm not sure if there's any prerequisites for this one, it just showed up for me. There's also a Sword of a Thousand Flowers and the White Widow of the Valley Flowers. A very nice armor set that matches the vibe of the game completely and yeah, I really like this one. It's the weakest of the three armors, but personally I think it's the best one they've added. And also you can see here it's using the new photo mode, which looks really cool. If you take a look at it in the inventory, you can see all of the stats for the armor and weapons. The second armor set is a new samurai armor and weapons. To find them in game, they are not added straight to your inventory as a reward. You have to go back if you've already left or if you've just started the game to the Vizima Palace and they're inside of a chest in Yen's room, as you can see here on the map. Again, another really awesome armor set and we finally have a ninja style sword in the game. Next up is another armor set, but it's not acquired through rewards, it's given as a reward with the new quest in the Eternal Fire Shadow. The quest can be done early as soon as you reach Velen, and it starts where you spawn here, just a little bit down the road at the Devil's Pit. Travel here and outside the gate to the pit is a new NPC called the Eternal Fire Priest, and you speak with him to begin the quest and enter the mine. Now I'm not going to go over the quest, I will leave you to explore on your own. You can watch my walkthrough video which I will post soon. The video is around 50 minutes long from start to finish. And at the end of the quest you can fight the final boss who after defeating will drop 6 brand new items for you. The full set of forgotten woven armour, that is 4 armour pieces and 2 swords, the steel and silver versions. All of which are based on Geralt's appearance in the Netflix series. Now the only bad thing is despite getting this very early you can't actually use the weapon or armor until you reach level 20 but it will take around the same amount of time to find all the components needed to craft it so it's not too big of a deal and of course you have your two armor sets that you got as rewards that you can equip and use until you unlock this one which in terms of stats has the best of all three. For bonuses it increases the duration of potions. The bonus is increased by 7% for each piece of the armor, and for equipping 6 pieces, R deals additional damage to enemies affected by Irden. You can also see the armors and weapon crafting components as well on screen. Lastly, you can upgrade the gear to its full potential by finding all the diagrams, but to do this you must have access to Ker Moran. They don't have any real requirements in order to get them, you just simply have to find the notes in the library. And that is all you need in order to be able to craft them, which I'm nowhere near being able to do yet, as you need to be level 34 and then 40 to get the master crafted sets. It's my least favourite armour of the three, but I think the appearance might change once you get the master crafted versions. Finally then, there are new appearances for several characters based on the Netflix show. Triss, Yan, Dandelion, Ciri and the Nilfgaardian soldiers, and we'll start with them as I wanted to mention one thing about them. So the Nilfgaardian soldiers armour is different, 
But the one you can buy and equip for Geralt is still the old version and not the new one, in case you wanted to know. I'm not sure if there's a way to get the new version for Geralt, but when I equipped the Nilfgaardian armor, it was the old version. So guys, I'm going to leave you to look at these new character showcases. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe for more Witcher 3 guides, mostly on the new content, but some older stuff as well that is story related to help any new players get achievements and trophies for the game if they're just playing for the first time. And don't forget to check out the walkthrough for the new quest. I will also have another video for the quest, which is all of the dialogue options, because it does have three potential different endings for that quest, and that will help you decide on which one to go with. Okay, so I will see you all next time. Bye. Geralt, must you ruin everything? I had him just where I wanted him. Ah, uh, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What's- Come on, we'll talk outside. Priscilla, what are you doing here? You all right? You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal. Got this lass to thank for his racing after you. She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt... Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I... Well, I don't know where she is. <laughs>